Play Ball! Today we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected to real facts about baseball. Number five, weird baseball inventions. Way back in 1904, James E. Bennett successfully patented a new apparatus to be worn by catchers. It was meant to replace the glove, helmet, and pads with a big wire cage that the ball would pass through, hitting padding on the chest. The catcher was supposed to squat behind home plate like a target for the pitcher, catching the ball in the cage and letting it drop through a chute into the catcher's hand. But as anyone who knows anything about baseball knows, it never caught on. Bennett's invention might have been too silly to ever end up on a baseball field, but can you imagine how awesome it would be if it did? Number four, Jimmy Pearsall's big mistake. Former MLB center fielder Jimmy Pearsall is most well known for being a little outlandish, shall we say? He once went to bat wearing a Beatles wig, talked to the monument of Babe Ruth at Yankee Stadium, and climbed a grandstand roof to heckle an umpire. Oh, Jimmy, you so silly. His greatest and most famous stunt, though, happened while he was playing for the New York Mets in 1963. In the fifth inning of a game against the Phillies, Pearsall hit the 100th home run of his career. He dropped the bat and proceeded to run the bases facing backwards. No one knows exactly why he chose to do it, but his manager Casey Stenegal was not amused. Pearsall was quickly fired from the team, probably for undermining the very serious nature of the game of baseball. <sighs> Yeesh. Number three. Casey Stenegal might have not liked jokes in the dugout, but another Mets manager definitely did. In 1999, Mets manager Bobby Valentine was ejected from a game for arguing with the ump. Instead of taking an early shower like any other ejected manager, Valentine tried to pull a fast one. In the clubhouse, Valentine put on street clothes and a fake mustache and returned to the dugout. The MLB commissioner's office didn't find the prank very funny though and fined Valentine $5,000 for returning after an ejection. Sounds like Valentine and Pearsall would have been a match made in comedy heaven. Number two, the curse of the Colonel. Most baseball fans have heard of the curse of the Bambino or the curse of the Billy Goat. But not as well known is the curse of the KFC Colonel. According to legend, KFC's Colonel Sanders himself put a hex on a Japanese baseball team called the Hanshin Tigers after the team's fans celebrated their 1985 championship win by tossing his statue into a river. He supposedly cursed the team to never win another championship until his statue was recovered. After the success of the 1985 season, the Tigers began an 18-year losing streak, placing last or next to last in the league each season. During the losing streak, attempts were even made to recover the statue, including sending divers into the river, but all failed. Fans apologized en masse to the manager of the vandalized KFC, but the statue remained in the river and the Tigers remained cursed. Finally, in 2009, the statue was recovered from the muddy river, but the Hanjin Tigers are still without a championship. And finally, our number one most fascinating fact about baseball, the most unlikely home run ever hit. Gaylord Perry was a highly decorated Hall of Fame pitcher who managed to pass the 300 win plateau. But like almost every pitcher not named Babe Ruth to play the game, he wasn't a great hitter. In 1963, Perry was in his second season as a pro for the San Francisco Giants. During a press conference with reporters, Perry's manager Alvin Dark quipped, They'll put a man on the moon before Gaylord Perry hits a home run. I bet you can see where this is going. During a game on July 20th, 1969, just 20 minutes after Neil Armstrong himself set foot on the moon, Perry stepped up to bat and hit his very first career home run. Talk about a coincidence, that's out of this world. And there they are, five amazing facts about Major League Baseball. Who's your favorite baseball team? Yankees, Cubs, Red Sox, Dodgers, Brewers, Red Sox? Maybe it's a minor league team in your hometown? Personally, I'm into the Hiroshima Carp myself. They got that Spider-Man guy, he's pretty sick. Let us know your favorite team by commenting below and make sure to check out five facts about the craziest sports in history if you wanna stay in the game. And then remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new five facts every Tuesday. I'm your host and now I'm stepping up to bat. <clears throat> All right, really hope I hit a home run. Here comes the pitch and ow, ow, it hit me in the leg. 
Ooh, but the good thing is that, ah, that's a walk. Ah, I'm going to first. Woo! Hear that, Ma? I'm going to first. Thank <laughs> you.